Hi guys, how are you? Um, I just wanted to give you a, well, a strange video today and I'm going to try and keep it as brief as I possibly can. Okay, so I'm attempting to do some streaming. Um, this is applicable to you if you use a Mac, if you use pretty much any door, but I use Studio One. And you want to use OBS. Remember that OBS, this is something that you need, which is the thing that um, like assembles everything and pushes it off into the internet for you to be able to stream. Um, so basically, um, there is an issue with a Mac, um, so which which doesn't let you easily split audio. And there was I ran up against this problem where it looked like I was going to have to buy something called Loopback, um, which is really good, um, but it's a hundred quid and a oh, hundred dollars. And if you're like me, you're probably not working much at the moment, and that's why you're thinking about live streaming, and then you probably don't have very much money. So um, I found, I, I've looked on the internet all day today to try and find a workaround for this, um, and I couldn't find one, and I really thought that I was just going to end up having to shell out $100 that I don't have in order to get loot back uh, to be able to do some streaming from my door. So that's a very important thing as well. If you want to do streaming... Uh, like directly to Facebook from your phone or even if you're just using your your built-in mic and your built-in camera this video isn't really for you this is about streaming when you want to go when you want to take a feed out of your door like a full mix or something and maybe you want to play along with it so imagine you had backing tracks and you want to play live and you want to have a mic and you want to talk to people this is that kind of thing okay so yeah, basically the way it goes is uh, we'll just ignore the video for a minute because that's a separate issue and it's one that's relatively easy to fix and sort out. Um, well, there isn't a problem with it. So yeah, you can do that with your webcam, or whatever, like I'm doing now. Um, but basically, let's just imagine you're working in Studio One. Um, you download OBS and basically your your audio interface, I use a, um, a Focusrite Scarlett Solo thing. Uh, one of those there um, and that appears on your Mac as an audio driver and if you select that um, in OBS so as in that's where you want your audio to come from to go go to OBS well number one it doesn't work um, because it's not really set up to do that um, so what you need is you need to find a way to split that audio you need to be able to have you need something that taps into the, the audio that's coming out of Studio One, um, i.e. your mix, and you need to split that and send it to OBS, essentially. Now, um, one necessary part of this, if you go on the ODA, ODA OBS website, um, I'm going to turn you around now, so we're doing screen capture. This is OBS, so it's, that's why it looks like there's so many screens, because I am actually doing screen capture at the moment. Um, but yeah, basically, um, OBS calls for you to uh, download something called, uh, let's just have a look. Let's have a little look, here we go, okay. Um, so this is, this is the OBS uh, thing. So it says, Mac OS users, if you're Mac OS, you need an extra app to capture desktop audio. This is due to limitations in Mac OS that provide no direct capture methods for desktop audio devices. Okay, right. So what that means is you've got to get this extra app, and that app is called uh, I Show You Audio Capture, okay? Um, and, yeah, so basically this is how you do it. You, you, you've got to go and you've got to get it. Uh, and it's, it's by shiny white box. <laughs> that makes me laugh every time I see it. Um, yeah, so basically you, you get it and you follow the um, you follow the, 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 the thing. And basically what ends up happening is it appears as a driver. Let's just get rid of OBS because it's confusing us. Right. So when you go into your settings um, and sound. Um, sorry. Yeah, I show you audio capture there will appear as a driver. So that's basically what it is. And what it all it does is it is it it captures audio. I don't really know how it works, but it just captures audio, right? So it will also appear in Studio One. Um, I will show you that in a minute. Um, now on its own, that doesn't solve the problem because if you go into OBS and you choose 
uh, well, basically, what you need to do is you need to find a way to tell Studio One. So let's just open up Studio One. Um, project that I've been working on, just a blank sort of thing. Sorry for the lack of editing in this video, guys, but I'm sure if you're like me, you just want to get on with this as quick as possible. So um, I'm just going to just blast through this, okay? Um, yeah, so what have we got here? Okay, so this is a, this is a, an open project in Studio One. Um, yeah, so as you've installed this new um, driver, it will appear in the list of devices here, okay? And as sure enough, there it is. I show you audio capture. Now, um, I, I can't even be bothered to explain why this doesn't work, but basically if you choose that, then you're not using your, your recording interface anymore, right? Um, basically, there's no way of being able, to, or there wasn't, <laughs> what they tell you is there's no way of being able to monitor your mix in Studio One here, and simultaneously send it to OBS, okay? Because if we go into OBS, sorry about this confusing screen, but let's just go into settings. If you go into OBS, um, audio. So here we go. Look, you know, these are some. Uh, these are some. This is where your your audio drive is found. Okay, so again, you can't really choose that because. I can't remember whether it would actually push it through to OBS or not, but it means you can't hear it. Now, I don't think it works. I don't think it works at all. And then if you choose that, and then you also choose that in Studio One, you won't hear anything in Studio One. So I've done loads of research on this today, and um, it looks like like there were basically there's there's one main um, there's one main thing that you can use and it's called loopback and it's amazing it's really good i downloaded it and used it used it so let's go back and have a look at loopback i've got it up on the screen here somewhere so this is loopback right it's made by rogue amoeba um and it's really cool it does this basically so like what you see here is like it's routing iTunes audio to uh, wherever you want them to go. And you can have as many of these things as you want. You can route them. So, And it recognizes, it's, it's well designed. So for example, there's a little thing here and you could say, I want that to be Studio One instead. And I want that to be OBS. So, or, or actually, no, what you do is you'd say, I want that to be that audio capture. I show you audio capture, right? So then it means you, you're, you're routing audio, you're, you're sort of like splitting it off and taking it into, um, into whatever other driver you want. So um, I show you audio capture, for example. And then you basically go back into this, and it really works. It's great. You, you just go back into settings, and then, as I said before, you choose it here, and, and loop back would be routing the, um, the audio to that, and you could select it in here, and then it would be it would appear on your stream, basically. Um, so long and the short of it. I'm not going to explain how to use this if you haven't used it before. It's not that hard. You can do all that yourself. And I'll keep this video brief. But basically, yeah, that's what um, that's what Loopback would do. Loopback has one major drawback. It's a hundred dollars, and if you're if you're like me, like it's um, you know you're a musician and you want to do some live streaming, and the reason why you want to do live streaming is because you haven't got any gigs now. Like all of our gigs have been cancelled, so. $100 is not a great thing to have to spend right now. Um, there are other solutions, like Sunflower is an old one, and they've done a new... Uh, they, uh, have you seen how hard that is to, like... It's all code and really deep, like, you've got to really go into it, you know. So, basically, I've done all this research, and um, and I, I didn't want to buy loop back. So, I found a way to get audio out of Studio One, sent to um, I Show You Audio Capture, in exa basically doing exactly what um, Loopback does, but without that product. You're not even having to put another product in there. I can do it directly from Studio One. Um, and I'm sure you can do it from other doors as well because they have similar, I'm sure they have a similar thing to what I'm about to show you. So let's go back and have a look. What I basically did is I went into the um, Max Audio MIDI setup, right? So that's the logo for that. It's usually in tools or something. And I created a new device, okay? And you can do that by clicking on this here. And you can say create aggregate device, okay? And that's what I did. 
So this is my aggregate device. And when you when you go through the process, you, you basically, I think if I if I click on it, you can get to see what happens. You can choose. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I can show you on the on the on the other one uh, that I've actually created. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you can say of the of the available devices, what what devices do you want to include in this aggregate device? Okay. So I've selected the two that I want. I want to be able to use Scarlett Solo USB with Studio One, and I want to be able to monitor out of it. And I also want to use I Show You Audio Capture, which is this thing you've downloaded. Okay. So it's basically. It's created this, this, and it's really cool because um, basically all over the internet, and even I mean that's why things like loopback have been created, is because everyone says you can't split the audio in a Mac. You can, um, and I don't know why I couldn't find this on the. I can't believe I'm the only one who knows this. I can't I just can't believe that, but I could not find this answer on the internet. Um, hence, I'm making this video. So basically, clock source Scar Scarlet Solo. Uh, USB. Obviously, that's what I'm recording with. I want that to be in charge of the timekeeping and everything. Um, and it's basically, this is our new audio aggregate device. And this device is made up of two devices. One of them is this physical Scarlet Solo USB, which is obviously, you know, it's got its own drivers. It's a card, isn't it, basically? And the I Show You Audio Capture. And it's created four channels, okay? Two in and two out. So my Focusrite has two channels. And it's created two channels here, right? So these are my my these are yeah it, one and two basically are the the uh, Scarlet Solo and three and four are the I show you audio capture. Yeah, so I hope that all makes sense. And you can name this device whatever you want, but at the moment it's currently named aggregate device. I'll probably change the name of that sometime. Right, so we've created this new device with four channels. Okay, so. Once you've created this device, you can see that it appears in the settings as a device in here. Well, I'm actually not selecting it. I'm still running the I Show You Audio Capture in this uh, in OBS. Okay, so let's go back to Studio One. So you can see what I've done. Uh, let's go to um, is it preferences or song setup? Yeah, basically, I've selected this aggregate device now. It's it's now appearing. So there's, there's, there's the Scarlet Solo, there's I Show You Audio Capture, there's Aggregate, aggregate Device. Okay, now I've selected the Aggregate Device, and in the preferences for that, no song setup. <laughs> um, you can see now we've got four, we've got four inputs and outputs. I'm going to ignore the inputs, because um, to be perfectly honest, I don't quite know how they work. But the outputs is the really important bit here. Okay, so I've basically created, I've added... Uh, add, I've added a stereo mix, and in PreSonus that would be called a sub mix. Um, and it's created this other mix called sub one. So essentially, what that is is like another master channel. Okay, but I'm I'm so here we've got my main output here. And this is outputting to one and two, which it normally would do, which is so because it's also using the Scarlet Solo as the output as well as the input. OK, so my master channel is still going through my audio interface as it normally would. But we've just created two new channels that are utilizing this um, new new um, aggregate device. And remember, the aggregate device that those that side of it is the I show you audio capture. So we're also simultaneously outputting through another mix, another master channel, which is using those two, right? Okay, so what I've done is I have, I have sent all, so this is that, that, that second um, master channel, outputs three and four, which is going to I show you audio capture. So I've then created a send on every one of my tracks here, and I've sent them to a bus. They're all going to this bus, okay? So you can see, and it's basically as, as easy as clicking Add Send, and then when you when you've added that send, you can you can set it, you can you can tell it where you want it to go, basically. So as well as going to the main output, which you can see it's going to the main output there, okay? It's also going, and I don't know if you know, you can access that by doing that, but yeah, it's also going to, we're also sending. Now, if you wanted to, you could change this mix by adjusting the level of every, every track going to your new bus, but I don't want to do that. Um, 
I, I just want it, um, I'm going to keep it exactly the same. Because what I'm trying to do is create a duplicate master channel, basically. This one is for my monitoring out of Studio One. This one is going to OBS. Okay, so yeah, that's what I've done. They, all of these tracks then are therefore now going to this bus. I, I didn't need to create the bus, but I did for some reason. And then I sent the bus to this sub one, which is our outputs three and four. Okay, so what this means now is I'm going to just turn my vocal mic on here and I'm going to give it a tap. So you can see this is my um, sub one mix, which is going out. If I turn up the master fader on my mix, this is this is what I would be monitoring. This is coming through my PreSonus Studio, my uh, Focusrite Scarlet Solo. I'm going to turn that back down. This is the one we're interested in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you this down here is that is that um, input from my. Um, Sorry, I can't remember. I've only just done this, so I'm sort of struggling to remember the names of things. But there we go. The mic auxiliary audio is the I show you audio capture, which is channels three and four of my aggregate device. Go away, junk mail. Yeah, this is channels three and four of my aggregate device made in MIDI setup. And there it is at the bottom. This was me speaking here. This, ignore this one. This one down here. That's the important one. And if I go back and play my track, there it is all playing. There. I know you can't hear it, but that doesn't make any difference. There it is. That duplicated loop of my mix going directly to OBS without using loop back or sunflower or anything like that. It's purely being done aggregate audio device Baby, which is back with you. and a submix created in Studio One. I hope this is really helpful. Um, it saved me a hundred quid right at this time when I really didn't need to spend a hundred quid <laughs> or a hundred dollars or whatever it's going to cost plus VAT probably as well. So we all need to save money and I'm sure you want to get on with streaming as quickly as I do because this is possibly where your, you know, your livelihood is. So, um, yeah, I hope this video was really useful, guys. And uh, if, if it was, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll see if I can give you any more information about specific bits of this process. Um, but I think this could well be one of the first times anything like this has been done. So, um, yeah, I'm quite chuffed. Uh, yeah, take it easy. I hope you're all well. Cheers, guys.